one and we are recording oh shit first ever episode yes 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 sweating What's nervous up, ladies and gentlemen this is a resident scove and i'm for tired out here with me it's abhishek over here all right what's and going we're on? Uh, waiting on hina who's late yeah we're waiting on hina all right um what's going on brother <laughs> Uh, surviving man like, uh, <laughs> we, yeah. we we were having a conversation uh, before we started recording about um what we want to talk about today you know being the first episode and all yeah so but i says uh, yeah. interview season when it's why int- not you know it's it's a hot topic it's it, fresh it's, it's fresh happening now. i i guess it actually starts this whole journey for us cuz this yeah. is this is why we're here at the end of the day we came to that interview well we went to those many interviews and yeah uh eventually selected well, well who does a selection now we do and they do that is that is the thing it's uh, not just like them interviewing you it's yeah. you interviewing them you also them interviewing too. them for sure and that's actually a yeah. big part and that's 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 what most of these things were set out to be mm-hmm. um so people coming in from all over the world mm-hmm. um it's it's, a, it's an interesting time you know jeez just in time you'd say a lot yeah. of a lot of tension too a lot of tension you meet a lot of new people yeah. from like all over the world yeah. it's and everyone's fighting for the same thing <laughs> that's the one thing you have in common right isn't it right uh, and what was your strategy though like how did you did you even strategize honestly i i know it might sound weird but i knew very early on that i was just going to come and just be myself and just it, let there's, it go. there's like no point having the two of us on the show with like the same person right <laughs> <laughs> like the same I, i just I, it was just easy on my mind i think yeah. like just come and then because for me it's very important that people see you for who you are and yeah. you know like you for who you are and yeah. you don't have to you don't have to apologize for who you are and you want a place that will absolutely want you to be there because of who you who are, you are. Not who you're Some, pretending to be. Not who you're pretending pretending Although to be. Although you got to pretend just a little bit. Like a you can't show, bit. don't show them all the crazy. Yeah, a little bit pretension is yeah. sometimes necessary. But at the end of the day, I just felt, you know, I was going to come in, uh-huh. you know, if they like me, good for them. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. it's literally the good. same approach to a first date. <laughs> yeah, first date. Yeah, cuz at the end of the day, there's no pressure. Yeah. I'm not forcing you to I'm not forcing you to like, like me. me. Yeah. If you like me, good for you. If yeah. you don't know, nah. your love. Yeah, well, <laughs> I guess. So I think that was my. Str- if there was any strategy at yeah. all, don't, don't don't move the mic. Let's, cause is it, it yeah, messing with the, the sound, wires? Yeah. No, no. The the sound is going. Oh, okay. 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 Cool. So if there was any strategy at all, it was just to come and let it let it be. Because yeah. I actually had a. F- uh uh a funny patch to to residency and that's the conversation for outside of here uh-huh, uh-huh. so i knew straight up that i was just going to come and you know yeah it's it's be myself see every everyone has a story like there's no one out there without a story yeah i think everybody does right yeah cuz like you came from somewhere and yeah. there were certain sequence of events that oh led to God. you so, sitting so many sequence of events oh. it's just the, a lot yeah, there's going to be a lot of podcasts about that uh, oh <laughs> down God. the line i got to really imagine i think everybody has that you're right and yeah. everybody has it, it's it's different you know from whether even the because you have IMGs and you have AMGs mm-hmm. and for those who are listening um mm-hmm. IMGs are international medical graduates and AMGs are american medical graduates yeah. the the path is slightly maybe slightly different for the AMGs for because sure. they they have more assurance of you Gee, can say slightly some, man slightly right i wouldn't say slightly i'd say oh, well, it's, it's significantly. very significantly different All right. it, yeah but like i can only talk about the IMG experience because that's what i've experienced yeah. too but because i guess for them maybe you know well it depends on what you're gunning for if, mm. if if and again it has to be program dependent you know mm. everything is tied to some reason some people choose certain programs because of their academic potential and some people choose because geography it's like geography you know, you know family like ties there's so the many city, things uh, yeah ge- geography like you mentioned so yeah. so many factors for a lot of people yeah uh for IMGs as well you know at the end of the day it's just the 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 I, system is created yeah. in a way that you can your you, no power is really taken from you because you That's have true. the power to choose you know apply and you know it's the same whether you interview in a place where it's an IMG or an AMG yeah. it's essentially the same then it's up to whoever's interviewing you to see IMGs whether you have any qualities a little more a lot more broad when yeah. applying that's one thing i've noticed AMGs well, are going to apply a little narrower yeah IMGs 
tend to apply a little broader because yep. the chances are a little slimmer in general yep. for MGs. Yeah. So there is that added pressure as well. Uh, no doubt. And there are different programs who some programs accept IMGs, yeah. some don't. So you have to do maybe a little bit more research because you know all programs are going to accept AMGs. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you have to do your research and it helps when you have like a cohort of people doing it at the same time. Like okay. I wouldn't want to do this journey alone for no, sure. Oh my God, it's such a, such a stressful thing. Yeah. And you know, for some people it's like you have to apply multiple years and mm-hmm. you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's a tough, it's a so tough. It's never Something easy to go through but coming back to uh, interviews yeah like do you still remember how you felt before your first one obviously everybody was nervous yeah. about, i'm not yeah. sure there was somebody out there who like, yeah i got this <laughs> 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 no, <laughs> just no. walks in yeah uh, I, I, obviously everybody was nervous uh yeah. but again you have your strategy you mm-hmm. try to figure out what you what to what uh how to go in you know your strengths and yeah. you you, try you, to, you make up your strengths you yeah you, well you make up <laughs> and your you know your weaknesses times. no <laughs> doubt no doubt and you try to amplify those strengths oh, i yeah. think that's just that's just what it is yeah because nobody's perfect right yeah there's obviously you know weak sides to everybody and there's um you know strong sides to everybody and i think the important thing is knowing what you're good at mm-hmm. and amplifying that. That's that's one thing the interview kind of forced me to do is have a closer look at who I was as a person. Yeah. Because when you want to amplify your strengths and yeah. kind of play down your weaknesses, you need to know what they are. First. Oh, for sure. For and sure. for me, like, I never really thought about what my weaknesses or my strengths were. I was just oh. like, yeah, this feels good. I'm going to go do this. Yeah. Not so good at that. Maybe yeah. not that. But yeah. then you actually have to sit down and put it to words before your interview. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. And then you just figure out how you want to get that shown in the right way. Because yeah. I, m- I remember one of the things I, 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 I was very confident about during my interview was being able to talk to people. Yeah. And I made that very obvious yeah. during my you know, interview where I was able to get a bit, you know, more in depth, in, even into the, the the whoever was interviewing me, I was able to ask them about themselves. About themselves you yeah. know, most of my interviews eventually flipped around where uh-huh. it was me. In, well, uh-huh. it should be that way. Yeah, where you're trying should to be interview. a conversation. Yeah, it way. should and be. Like you, you're also trying to interview whoever you're going to be working yeah. with. Yeah. Um, so I flipped around to the point where I was asking a lot of questions. And so why do you think you belong here? What exactly? <laughs> no, no, I actually asked why them. Why do you want to stay on? Why, like why stuff like you that. Choose, you got to ask you know, it. Yeah. Why did you even get into medicine? What drives you? What so basically, you made him you? question his whole life. Well, By the uh, end of it, he's a, like... A little bit. <laughs> a little bit, I guess. Um, yeah, but a, a lot of it was me just getting not a communicate yeah. and not just be rigid and you know just mm-hmm. answer every question i was asked you know mm-hmm. also start, try to start conversation mm-hmm. i think it was it was yep. all right Sorry. it no, was all right so uh, the thing is everyone knows like that you need it's a two-way conversation but i think there's a bit of a, a gray area about what you're gonna ask and what can you really like eke from them that you don't already know about the program yeah because everyone's gonna tell you the numbers and the statistics but yeah about figuring out how the place is to actually work in I think like some of the questions you should ask are like, what kept you on here for this long? That is true. Yeah. And they're asking you what your 10 year plan is. Yeah. It's only fair. You should ask them, where do you see yourself five years? Down that, the line? that is, that is very true. I Again, completely agree. But there is a balance. You don't want to come off as being too brash or cocky about that it. That is, well, you know, I, I thought I, the way that I did most of my questions was more on the personal, mm-hmm. you know, side of things. Yes, you want to, there's a lot of things you already know about the program. Yeah. You've re- you done your research yeah. before. You've you seen the numbers. Yeah, you've you seen the it. numbers, yeah. and, you know. So for me, a lot of times, I mean, for most of the interviews, it was just asking the person, you know, direct personal questions mm-hmm. about, you know, why you chose this program you know how do you cope with you know how many times a week do you shower well that's uh, <laughs> I, I, I didn't go that deep i didn't go that deep but you know just questions that i thought was was important to me and yeah. also made the conversation a bit more meaningful i yeah. guess yeah. yeah um so anything about appearance about appearance yeah look like, sharp look sharp i guess yeah. you look sharp man look sharp and you know like that's maybe one part of your personality you may have to tone down like if yeah. your whole vibe is just slacks and hoodies <laughs> suit up man <laughs> so I, I think most, most people tend to know that because again yeah. it, it makes you look obviously more more confident yeah and, uh, yeah 
It's, it's such a weird vibe, though. Because yeah, like I, when I, was I, the last time you actually had to interview for a job? Like, for me, at least, never. This was the first time I actually had to interview in a suit and tie for anything in That my life. is true. That, yeah. Well, for me, yeah. Yeah. Never before, right? Never before. Yeah. It was Strange. I was I was I was teaching in a in a in a university before I came here. Mm-hmm. I, I really never had to interview. It was the same university yeah. that I, I, I studied in. And yeah. It was just straightforward. Uh-huh. So this was real first time I was interviewing for a proper real job. Like, like suddenly you know, boom, some, you're a grown some, up now. Yeah, <laughs> something that will definitely change change your life. Yeah. And I think it does for a lot of people because you think about getting to residency and that is the beginning of your career as a oh, physician. Yeah. For sure, it's the first step, baby steps. It's like, you know, in medical school, whatever, you can finish medical school and not yeah. end up doing anything. Yeah. But if you're in residency, yeah. you're is, never going to end dream, up becoming though? a doctor, right? <laughs> right? That's true. It's it's like that and part that changes everything. In it's me. weird, though. If you, like, looking back, there are some, like, pivotal moments you can trace back in your own personal history where the rest of your life is going to take a dramatic turn and that yeah. being one of them that particular interview yeah no pressure no but yeah that's what it is all right all right okay we'll take a break now we'll yeah. be right back